Hello and welcome back to Spirit Quest Reviews. I'm your host and tour guide as we experience new whiskeys together. What are we experiencing today? We are going to be looking at Lord Calvert Canadian Whiskey, aged 36 months, which is a fancy way of saying three years. Let's begin with the nosing and tasting, shall we? Ooh, yes, that is different than what we are used to here on this channel. This will be the first Canadian whiskey that I review on this channel. And I want to say that there is maple in the nose. The smell is very sawdust-like. Somewhat oily. Very sweet. Perhaps some light corn, brown sugar. Definitely maple. There are some dirty, earthy, oaky notes as well. There is a <clears throat> there is a cassis smell in the nose, oddly enough. Some darker fruits like prunes, perhaps. Also banana and apricot. None of this is overpowering, by the way. This is all very, very faint and really has to be looked for quite carefully. You have to search out this whiskey very thoroughly to get any of these aromas. The primary smell is maple and nail polish remover. Underneath that, there are fruity notes, as I've mentioned. There is maple, there is sweetness, there is oakiness, there is sawdust, but this is all buried underneath a thick fume of acetone smell <clears throat> and generic alcohol and maple sweetness. Let's give it a tasting. Mm. Maple, lime, pine, and pine saw. There's that cleaner again, but it's pinier now. One more tasting. There's something basal and earthy. Uh, I want to say mushrooms. Uh, there is peas, green beans. Um, the higher notes include uh, peppery, corn spice, nutmeg, grassiness. Uh, on the finish, there is a slight citrus zest, something like an orange peel or grapefruit juice, I want to say. Give it one more tasting. Yeah, the primary flavor again is maple, nail polish remover, and alcohol with some uh, mapley corny sweetness. Uh, underneath that is everything else I talked about, but mind you, that is very light, that is very well hidden among the dominant flavors. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add five milliliters of water to our whiskey and see how that changes it for us. Now something I want to point out, I did get the 50 milliliter plastic shooter bottle and there is some concern in the whiskey community that the plastic leaches out into the whiskey and alters the flavor. Uh, the distributor of alcohol that I deal with is very respectable and to the best of their control would not expose any of their products to uh, heat or anything else that could contaminate the flavor. So I think I am getting the full experience of Lord Calvert. Um, 
but just be aware that if you pick it up in a glass bottle it may taste somewhat different um, it's not likely uh, if plastic had leached out into the bottle uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten a lot of those um, finer notes that uh, we just discussed um, there's a possibility that uh, Lord Calvert in the glass bottle may contain less of the antiseptic plastic flavor that we talked about but uh, I, I do not believe that the whiskey I'm trying has been tainted in any way. I do believe I am getting the full regular experience of Lord Calvert, which of course is a very bottom shelf whiskey. It is not expensive to begin with. There's not a whole lot to ruin, if you will, but there are some interesting flavors. I will give it that. I was not expecting as uh, I don't want to say complex, but uh, I was not expecting a drink that offered so many flavors to seek out within it. Um, that being the case, uh, I do want to point out that on Canadian whiskey in general, it is hard to get a, uh, a mash bill because basically no Canadian whiskey is a single whiskey that has been aged from the beginning in barrels and then blended and released to the public. Usually what happens with Canadian whiskey, they will take a grain whiskey, they will take a rye whiskey, they will take a malt whiskey, they will take a corn whiskey, and they will then blend the finished whiskeys until the flavor is what they want it to be and then release it. Whereas bourbon starts life with a single mash bill, say 70% corn, 15% uh, rye, and 15% barley, for example, um, and is mm, distilled and aged that way with only one mash bill aged in barrels, and then the product from the different barrels are blended together. With this, there is actually different whiskeys that are blended after aging. And the age statement says, again, 36 months, which is a fancy way of saying three years and a way of making three years sound longer than it is. So pardon me. So let's go back and give it a little, another nosing now that we've given it a uh, few minutes to settle down. Um, molasses is now the dominant smell in the nose. There's char up front now. I don't know where that came from, but I'm getting barrel char up front. Brown sugar in the middle. Uh, sweet ethanol on the finish. There is actually a little bit of pineapple lingering on after everything else is gone. That is very interesting. <clears throat> I would say that this is not... <clears throat> pardon me. I would say that this is not a terrible whiskey. It is drinkable. It is more than likely very mixable and for a for a uh, for a dollar uh, there are worse 50 milliliter shooters that you can purchase if you are on a budget and want to grow your palate and experience more whiskey pick yourself up some Lord Calvert pour yourself a glass Tell me in the comments if you experienced anything of what I just mentioned. Tell me if you get those notes. Really look for them. This is a good training whiskey because to get the notes that I mentioned, you really have to look hard. So if you want to increase your palate sensitivity, learn to detect flavors, get yourself some Lord Calvert, and really dig in and see if you can find every flavor and smell that I mentioned. 
Uh, I will be launching a Patreon soon if you would like to support me that way. Uh, the choice is yours. You can always just subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on your notifications. That's perfectly fine. Or you can do none of the above. You can disregard everything I've said here and move on with your life and have a merry time without me. So be it. The choice is yours because this is your spirit quest. Until next time, I've been your host.